Yo everybody, a while back I promised you a video where I explain how I got the guitar tones for my top 10 riffs video. So I've made some notes and I'm going to tell you how I got the guitar tones. It's this video I'm talking about. I'm playing my top 10 favorite riffs of all time together with a friend of mine who's called Sindre, who's a drummer. And he recorded that in his studio with a guy who works there, whose name is Snoda. And Snoda also mixed everything. He mastered it and he played bass on all the songs. To the first one, number 10 on the list, and that's CC Top with Gods of Get Paid. And for that song, I used my Tele. Uh, that's a Baja Telecaster, and I used the JHS Crayon pedal. And with that pedal, you can get really fussy, speedy tones. So I used that for one side, and for the other side, I used a Gibson R4 with um, an ohmless uh, pedal called Borfuss. And both of those guitars went to, into an amp from a company called PD Guitars. Uh, I had one for on loan because I did a video of it. And I used the clean channel on that amp. It's a really good amp. And I used two different um, speaker cabs on my two notes torpedo. So I believe the first one was the Monarch cab. That's the one that I use for all my demos. That's my favorite cab. And I think for the other one I went for something more Fenderish. Um, so yeah, that's it with that song. It's two tracks. Uh, they're quite fussy, both of them, and it worked really well. And for number nine, I also used my Tele, I also used the same amp, I used the drive uh, channel on that one. I didn't use any pedals, I went just straight from my Tele to the, purp it's called Purple Beast from the PD Guitars, straight into the drive channel, not a lot of drive, and um, like when the song really kicks in, I did an overdub with my Gibson R4 as well into the same amp, into the drive channel, just with a different cab. I think I went for something more martially on the second or on the overdub. On the first one, I probably used the Monarch cab. That's my favorite for clean sounds and slightly overdriven tones and even high gain tones. I use the Monarch cab for almost everything. And on number eight, that's Machu Picchu by The Strokes. And I used um, my Tele into the Borfuss again on one side. I used my TMG Ronnie Scott on the other side into the drive channel of the Purple Beast. Um, it's kind of like the main sound is kind of like a hybrid of this broken fuzz sound and a normal overdriven fenderish tone. And also I did one track with my telly just for some clean chords. And yeah, then we are on number seven and that's Caius with Thumb. Um, I used two guitars. I used my ES-335 tuned to C standard. I used the Purple Beast amp once again on the... Um, uh, I think it was the drive channel with not a lot of overdrive. And then I used the pedal from Matthews effects called the Cartographer which is kind of an overdrive pedal where you can cut and boost certain frequencies. So um, I used the neck pickup and I boosted um, around like 700 hertz, I believe, with the cartographer. And I just, on the other side, I used my Fano PX6 and I did almost everything the same on the overdrive track. And yeah, for number six, 
which is Jamie's Crying by Van Halen. Um, I used my Fano PX6 once again. I don't have any guitars that's similar to Van Halen's guitars, but that one is just fine for everything. So I tuned it down half a step and maybe a year ago, two years ago, I made um, a preset for bias amp. What I did, I dialed in a tone that was quite similar to the tone from Van Halen's first album. Then I did the amp matching thing in there. I was able to find on YouTube, I believe, some separated guitar tracks from the album and I did an amp match and that sounds really close, at least in my ears, to like early Van Halen guitars. So for that track there was just one guitar and yeah that's it. Uh, I believe Snoda added some plate reverb in the mix but other than that it would just straight into positive grid bias amp. And yeah for number five that's um, uh, the Them Crooked Vultures song. Uh, kind of similar approach to the Caius one. I used my ES into the Purple Beast. Um, I believe I had it on the clean channel with maybe like the volume up quite a bit so it distorted just a tiny bit and then I used the cartographer once again. I think I used it even more on this song than on Caius to get more a more like mid strong tone and the guitar is tuned to open A and on like the big riff part at the end I also used my lap steel with an octave pedal to simulate I don't know if you've seen it but uh, John Paul Jones he plays this huge lap steel uh, like a hybrid bass guitar lap steel on that song so I, I used my standard lap steel with an octave pedal to kind of emulate that so that's the tone on that one. On number four, uh, that's uh, together with um, the Van Halen song, one of the few songs that I didn't use the Purple Bee stamp. I just went straight into Positive Grid again. I had one side with a Vox AC30 uh, with the Borfus and one side with the with a more fenderish, I believe it was a Fender Deluxe or something, and then I used a fuzz pedal called the Scratchy Snatch from Monster Piece. Number three, that's Blood and Thunder by Mastodon. That was quite a hard one to get because I don't have any like more metal type guitars, so I used my Gibson R4 and my PX6. They were both tuned to D standard and I played them into the Purple Beast and I used the Bondi Effects uh, sick ass pedal as a kind of boost into the Purple Beast to get that tone. And I a lot of the tone in, in that song is also with the bass which is quite driven actually. And yeah, number two, that's Megadeth with um, Tornado of Souls, probably the hardest one to play for me. Uh, I think maybe I overdid it a bit with Gain. I used the Purple Beast once again, and since it's a bit hard for me to play, I probably turned up the Gain a bit too much because it's kind of a trick when you're recording to try to like put the Gain down as much as, much as you can. Uh, at least when you're overdubbing stuff and stuff like that. But yeah, I think it turned out quite okay, even though it's, it was a bit too gainy maybe. I used, I borrowed a Dave Mustaine signature guitar. I believe it's from Dean and it was just horrible to play on, to be honest. But yeah, that's um, the Megadeth song. And for the last one, No One Knows by Queens of the Stone Age. I used my ES-335 again tuned to standard C and I played it straight into the Purple Beast for like the main track. That's no pedals at all, it's just straight into the Purple Beast. I was supposed to use some pedals 
but I just plugged in and I almost had the sound like instantly on the clean channel. Um, the main guitar is a lot more cleaner than you would think. Um, and then when a second guitar comes in, that's a bit more distorted. And that's when I use the, the cartographer again to get that mid uh, sound and blended together. You really get that Queens of the Stone Age tone. And I believe uh, for that one, um, I used the Monarch cab once again on the main track. And for the second guitar, I used um, more like a Vox AC30 cab sim together with the Purple uh, Beast amp from PD. So yeah, um, I would say that the PD guitars, uh, guitars Purple Beast was a huge ingredient to getting all the tones. I could probably done it with my Tone King as well, but I felt that the Purple Beast was a bit more versatile and it was a bit easier to dial in the different tones with that one. So yeah, that's it. Not a lot of pedals used, just a couple of fuzz pedals and the sick ass as a boost and some different guitars and a lot of um, turning knobs. Um, I would say that's probably uh, a lot of the thing and also I mean it's different when you use a cab simulator that I do but you have to try with different cabs and try to switch out different microphones as well and in the mix I believe Snuda didn't do really much with the guitars he told me that he did some like uh, I think just I think he removed some of the highs that's about it and he added some some reverb on a couple of the songs because I didn't use any reverb or effects on the guitar tracks. So yeah, that's it. If you have any more questions about this video, just post them below and I will try to answer you. And yeah, have a nice day. Bye.